In this video, I will show you how you can reduce the amount of code by using functions. Maybe you haven't noticed it, but we are already using functions because void setup is a function and void loop is a function. Void setup will be only called once and void loop will be called over and over and over again. You can also create your own functions. I would like to create a function that blinks an LED. I will call this function blink green LED. And the syntax looks exactly like setup and loop. So we will have void blink green LED. And for now, just ignore the void. I will talk about this in another lesson. I'm using the same traffic light that I used in the previous video. So the red LED that is connected to pin 11, the yellow one is connected to 10, the green one is connected to nine. And inside of blink green LED, I will call digital write nine high delay and then digital write nine low. I have created this function that is called blink green LED. And whenever I call this function, it will execute whatever is inside of this function. But before we can blink our LED, we need to enable pin nine as output. And now inside of loop, I would like to call blink green LED. And then I wait for two seconds and then it will be called over and over and over again. Let's see what happens. The LED blinks for 300 milliseconds. We wait for two seconds and then it blinks again. So right now we haven't really reduced the amount of code we can make the function more flexible using parameters. Let's add the parameter int pin and I will rename the function to blink LED because now I can tell my function which pin I would like to blink. And then inside of my function, I will not use the number nine, but I will use pin. And here comes your exercise. I would like to have the green LED blinking, then the yellow LED blinking, and then the red LED blinking. Reuse this function. Blink LED pin nine. Of course, all of them need to be defined as output. I will let the green LED blink, and then also the yellow and the red one. Now you can see all of them are blinking and we effectively reused this code right here. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. If you would like to share your thoughts, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.